what's up guys, I Alligator here. I know it's been like three months, you could say, take a season off, um, and I know you missed my voice, but I'm back with a video, and as always, my excuse is school, and as summer is rolling along, um, I finally have time to make some videos, and hopefully I'll make more um, videos more often than every three months. But anyways, today with me I have iOS 7 on my iPhone 5. This is the first beta that came out. And right away, you can see that it looks different. Well, obviously, that's what we were all hoping for. Um, the box screen, first of all, look at this. This is so cool. Bubbles move around on the lock screen, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, slide up for camera, like always, and slide to unlock. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock. And you can see icons rolling in a different way. And by the way, this is paint under my thumb, thumbnail. Um, my thumbnail isn't dirty. It's car paint. Um, so you can see all the icons look different now. Um, everything's been redesigned, and the old like App Store icons look just out of place. It looks like you got a theme for your phone, and the theme doesn't support those apps. So um, let's go ahead and start off with Calendar. It looks much more different than it did before. Actually, not that different. Um, you can tap days now. You can go to months years and you can see when your birthday is in I don't know 50 years okay in 2072 which is not 50 years from now my birthday will be on a Saturday so hopefully I'll be alive to celebrate that if not well that sucks for me um, photos looks different now too <laughs> I'm sorry you have to look at that photo it was a joke actually it was a snapchat to someone and here's some fetal pig dissections and now it automatically sorts pictures by location and date which is really cool and it calls those moments and then collections you can look at those um, and you can actually zoom in on those if you like scroll over it so uh, I'm trying to find an appropriate photo to here here brain dissection we did which is this is really cool it feels like an iPad feature and here's a sheep brain and then your albums, which it automatically makes right over here. All right, now let's look at the camera. I know camera has been redesigned, yep. So now there is photo, square, and pano for panorama. I don't know why they would put square. I'm pretty sure no one wants to take square photos unless it's for Instagram. And of course you can do that in Instagram. You don't need to take them in square format and video here, which shows the time on top flash and HDR has moved down to the bottom here you can see it lights up a nice color and their filter is now here too which I really don't like I'd like it simpler without the filters but it's not going to bother me too much um, notes and everything looks different um, folders now work like this where you tap them and they fill up the whole screen or most of the screen there's a lot of dead space here and there and there's there's a lot of dead space throughout the uh, new OS game center icon new one looks atrocious it looks like a stack of jelly beans I really didn't expect that kind of an icon from Apple um, calculator looks cleaner simplified tile interface sort of like uh, Windows Phone 7 iOS 7 haha <laughs> coincidence I doubt it. Um, compass looks different. I'm not going to make a complete circle. Um, contacts. Um, not too much difference here. Um, videos. Maps. Let's look at maps. Um, should be a lot of... No, actually it's just different UI. Functionality is pretty much the same. Oh, and I know that um, it changes uh, colors based on the ambient lighting. So there's a night mode for it, I guess you could say. Stocks, let's look at that. Yeah, just a different UI. Everything's more square and clean instead of being rounded. Um, Safari, now you can type in an address, and then as you scroll up, it gets minimized to the top, which is pretty nice. And oh my god, look at this last video, February 13th. Today is June 10th. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and best of all, you can put new stands in a folder now because it was always there being the most useless thing ever. Oh, and I accidentally just did that. You'll notice that spotlight is gone and it's replaced by a slide down. 
um, where you can search your phone and the keyboard looks different and the speech to text also looks different. Um, what's up dude? And I noticed Siri is really fast too. Oh wow, this was pretty fast too. Um, let's take a look at Siri. What's today's date? And it's way faster. I know I noticed Siri was operating much faster. And thanks a lot for Sorry, proving me wrong. <laughs> well, I didn't even recognize that. I guess I'm just mumbling. And you can also make Siri a dude now, which I hope none of you will do because Siri will always be a woman in our hearts. Reminders looks different. There's a schedule for today and all your reminders on the bottom. Um, clock again looks different as well. Same um, UI that fits in with the rest of the OS. App Store actually looks pretty similar to how it was before and it looks weird still. But that's fine. Um, I can live with it as I have for the past year or so. Um, settings looks different too. Toggles are now green instead of blue or it used to be orange for airplane mode. Um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty similar. These are not stock apps. Oh, and there's a new app called FaceTime, which shows your face in the background. That's why it's pretty laggy. It's showing the front-facing camera in the background. That's why the FPS for scrolling is so bad. And new FaceTime feature is that it allows you to uh, make phone calls with FaceTime. I think they're called FaceTime Audio or something like that and you can make uh, free calls over Wi-Fi or data using FaceTime without using the minutes of your uh, plan. Um, phone looks pretty similar, nothing too different. Mail, um, there is a new swipe back feature throughout the um, OS which also works in messages. Um, music looks different as well just like pretty much everything else here, um, your playlists now show like so, and there is an artwork shown for your playlist, your songs as well, which is pretty nice. The search was right up there too. Um, so let's see, nothing else here. Now let's take a look at the notification center which is now divided into three sections, all which is what you used to see before. Um, today, which shows today's date and any events you have, along with the weather, shower conditions with low visibility, clear tonight with a low of four. Looks like it's gonna rain outside, so it's pretty accurate, and mist, which I haven't been using the OS for long enough to be able to use that. Um, now there is a control room control center, sorry, not control room, that you can swipe up and it brings this up, which is pretty hideous in my opinion or maybe it's just a matter of getting used to. I know when I was watching WWDC in class today and I saw iOS 7, I was very disappointed but when I got my hands on it later tonight, um, it's not that bad. It's just a matter of getting used to it and I'll probably get used to this as well. But anyways, control center has your, your toggles, um, brightness, volume and quick access to flashlight, um, stopwatch, calculator, and your camera. And there's also AirDrop, which lets you share um, files. That's sort of like um, Android Beam or Samsung Beam. I'm not sure what it's called. It's called Beam for sure. And you can share photos or videos or other things with other iPhones near you. And you have to tap this and be visible to other, sort of like Bluetooth in order to receive files, which is a really nice feature, one of my favorite features of iOS 7. Um, and um, I guess that's pretty much it. I know I'm going to miss a lot of stuff. I'm not going by a list or anything, I'm just going by memory. But I think I got a good chunk of this stuff in this video, and this video is already pretty long, 9 minutes and 30 seconds, making up for the lack of videos in the past 3 months, I guess. Um, but no, really, this is all I can think of for now. And the uh, iPhone fades out now, and geez, that screen's dirty. Should have cleaned it. And there is a lot more consistency now um, throughout the OS, like all the volume 
bars look the same. Oh, and also you can bring up Notification Center here and also Control Center here, which is really useful. Hopefully that won't go off in your pocket and, I don't know, turn Wi-Fi off or on or put your phone on airplane mode. But that's pretty much it, guys. Leave video ideas below, unless you want me to uh, make another video in three months or, you know, take another season off. Thanks for watching this video. Um, please tell me how much you missed me in the comments below. No, I'm just kidding. But again, I'm so sorry for not making videos for so long. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash iAlligator, Facebook at facebook.com slash iAlligator. And uh, again, thank you a lot for watching and staying with me through the downtimes. And hopefully, I'll see you soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.